Well, hi in unison, Lisa and Dr. <laughs> Jason. How are you guys doing? We're great. How are you? I am so blessed, so healthy, and so well, and I'm so glad you joined me today on the Belder BB Show. Okay. I hope you're having nice weather down there. <laughs> oh, for Dallas, according to the rest of the world, we're doing pretty good. Thank okay. you for asking. Okay. Well, I heard that we get to talk about psoriatic arthritis today. And, Doctor, if you could set us off, if, if you could set the medical platform for us, what is it? And I didn't know it was autoimmune disease. Absolutely. Psoriatic arthritis is a condition that affects the joints, and it needs to be distinguished from other types of arthritis. It does cause pain and swelling, tenderness of the joints, stiffness, and it occurs in 30% of people who have a skin condition called psoriasis. We know many people with psoriasis. We just think it's uncomfortable, scratchy, itchy, and flaky. Absolutely, and the arthritis occurs in over a million people in the U.S., and the key is, and the reason we are having this initiative, is that is only the tip of the iceberg. There are many people who have joint symptoms or musculoskeletal symptoms, whether it be back pain, foot pain, knee pain, hand problems, and they have the skin disorder, and they may not know they have one or the other or either. So, uh, before I let you go and move on to Lisa, okay, so how do, you, how do we diagnose all of this, doctor? I just had this conversation. We all should have went to medical school because now you guys are telling us, you know, uh, uh, we're the first line of defense. We know what's going on with us, but now we've got to be smarter and better. Absolutely. The public and patients need to help their doctors to diagnose this condition. And if the public is informed, if they know that they could have psoriatic arthritis, they can bring it to the attention of their doctors, and they may accelerate the process of getting treatment, and as a result, they may remain healthier. Okay, Lisa, I know you want to tell us about Be Counted, how it segues into psoriatic arthritis for the community? Definitely. Uh, psoriatic arthritis is a chronic disease. And, you know, you get the swollen joints and the, the achiness and pain from, you know, different places. And it's a disease that people don't always see with the naked eye. Um, so they don't understand why people aren't able to go out and do the things that they would normally do. Uh, you know, I know myself, uh, you know, I wasn't able to do a lot of things. Just opening a jar was difficult for me until I found treatment. Uh, I felt all alone when I first got psoriatic arthritis because I never heard of it before. So to get the word out there about psoriatic arthritis and that you're not alone, that you know people count, I count, I think is very important. I'd like to ask the doctor, what are some of the ways that people manage this disease? Because what I'm seeing, I'm thinking we're in a, a revolution. Remember, we had the Industrial Revolution. Now we've got a technology revolution, and I really believe we're having a medicine revolution. You are absolutely right, Valder. We have so many avenues to help people now that were not previously available. And we actually, one of the treatments is the treatment that leases on Otesla or Premalast, an oral medicine for psoriatic arthritis. And we have many other treatments for psoriatic arthritis. And these treatments can keep people active. They can prevent the patients from deteriorating from further joint damage and becoming disabled, which was the history of this disorder for many patients in the past. And the website to go to to learn more about psoriatic arthritis is psacounts.com. I like that. And I'm going to wrap up with that, and I'll ask you about that again. But what are some of the long-term challenges or chronic channel challenges that the patient uh, faces with this, doctor? Well, one of the things that I find is that patients develop a symptom, and they often think the worst. They don't know what they have, and rather than seeking an answer, they hide. They go home, they stay home, they sit in their chair, they sit in the bed, and they don't, um, they don't find out what's wrong, and they don't get treated. And that is the worst thing that you could possibly do. That's so, such great advice. Yeah. 
That is really great advice. Dr. Jason, I want to thank you and Lisa both for talking about it. And, Lisa, I wish you the best that life has to offer you as you continue on. And thank you for being my guest, both of you, on the Valder BB Show. And what's that website as we wrap up? Sure. That website is psacounts.com.